just looking to bum rush their uh, their fortifications and take them down. Now I actually lack really good generals right now. Might be worth turning my heir into one since he's a bit of a scumbag. Well, he's not great, but he's an heir. And he has some siege, so we'll help out with Mandla there. Oh, I could s just assault that one right out of uh, existence. Wouldn't take any time, and allows me to move around quite freely, which is a big boon right here and right now. Especially if I can cross over here and shoot you to death, although my general kind of blows here. Maybe we could try our uh, king. I know Fireface comes first, and you're going to slaughter me there. But it's really nice to be able to take you down. And, which is more, sometimes opportunity knocks. If you make your way into Raipur, they're going to die as well, I assure you that. Uh, he's thinking about it. Alright, he's locked in on Raipur. What I'm going to do then is... Is what exactly? Detach enough of a siege out of one of you and then go and slaughter him. Or, better yet... Just get you all together, detach a single unit, and go and kill him. Fire phase comes first. Unfortunately, that's not working to my benefit here, but... We're just that bit better at crushing. Now, where do we go here? Ten to ones, I think, is the answer. Alternatively, we just split and split and split, and try to make the most of our advantage here. about as far as that advantage goes <laughs> and there we go man it just feels good to be able to step all over these Indians for a change because we were certainly the ones getting stepped on for a while uh, we got what oh, we need to bring that one down I don't know who's coming to oh right I was wondering why you guys were about to be under attack but now I see it and now I see how very dead you're about to be Oh, mistakes were made. Yeah, mistakes were made. Good old Vigianagar. They can click their fingers and just summon enormous stacks. But that's the riches of India for you. Well, for them. I don't think Mandla needs to stick around for too much longer. Regulars are not regulars, it's going down. The north could be taken care of just with a couple of merc scum. So I think it will. Yeah. You guys should probably start making your way south though. Show them what we're made of. if I'm needing much uh, admin for things, for other things right now, but I should probably start plowing on with my tech. Uh, Beijing was not unforeseen as a revolt, but I didn't leave anything back to take care of it, and I don't feel like throwing away just regulars, so those, uh, those revolters are just going to have to do their thing. And another breach, and it's a good opportunity to just bum rush the fort, but I'm not going to take it. Pancakes and Jake. Ah, what could be better, says that guy from high school. Uh, not sure I'm all that happy appealing to high schoolers like that, but hey, more power to you. More power to Poseidon. It's getting crushed at the moment. Fortunately, Vigianagari capital is about to go down as well. What I should probably do rather than focus on it, though, is to take down the stacks in the north, and that really just cleans everything up for me up there, at least. Oh, good, you're going for them, which means you'll probably go for that province as well, so I'll take care of Kelpie. Yeah, let's get you guys together and start heading north to uh, crush the rest. 
they can try to take Ricardo back. But what we want to do is be in a position where we just turn around and slap each of these guys. Can't you just both go... Oh, right, you're not together. I thought uh, this province and this province were one and the same. Okay, we will get you guys together then. Kind of uh, ignoring my own advice on 10 to 1s here. shouldn't because it's just causing me issues. Right, you're gonna slam right into those ones, you're gonna slam into these ones. These guys are gonna have to make a decision on one to back, which means the other is gonna lose out big time. And since we're gonna have free reign on where to go from here, it'll work out pretty swimmingly. Also, do we go here or here? I mean, raw numbers, we're kinda outdone. And that's a 5-2... Four two Dan, they've got some good generalship. We don't have good fire here, and the glory seeker is not uh, somebody that's perhaps best suited for the field. That's not any better, really, but it allows us to avoid the river crossing penalty. Oh well, it's our fort anyway. What the hell? Let's just fight. What's the worst that could happen? I'm sure we're going to find out. Mm, you're going to Ricard Doab, which amuses me greatly, so uh, that's actually best case scenario. Pound them from every direction. And this is good, they are running out of places to run to. Push them south. And dare I say, Siege Specialist is a great trait to have when you have two Siege. Also still going for Ricard Doab, I should probably push that push that advantage, but I just love getting my ten to ones. Hmm. It's tricky because they still have this smiley face of fortifications down there. There is this slight issue of all these Pasai units coming up here and ruining my day. I would like to defeat Pasai as well, but it's just Vijayanagar that I'm really here for. Pasai mean very little to me. I think if there's anything I'd want out of them, it would be transfer trade part, but that's 60%. I wouldn't even be able to cross and get that. Or maybe end their alliance with the auto scum. That would be nice too. But no, it's good to remember what I'm here for. I want Vijayanagar to stop being my rival and to give up these two provinces. It's not a lot to ask, and indeed, if it weren't for those being too much to ask, they would agree. At least we're winning the battles thing, but not as much as I would like to. Alright, that's good, they're coming over here to uh, fight us, which means bad things for them. Especially if I bring in some extra sting. We should really be plowing our way south here. It's just not easy to. Jake, make them break Auto Alliance. Uh, I don't think I could push Besai to that without extremely overexerting myself. Besides, I need a good fight with the Ottomans. And I have no intention to absorb Besai right now. It would make me tons of ducats, no questions asked. But I just... Here's the thing, for this entire campaign... It would have been trivial to swallow this stuff up, and the money I would be making because of securing the lack in trade would be obscene. But we're very purposefully not doing that. We're going for a strong build on production and tax. Not as strong as it could be. In fact, when you own this much of China, you would expect to be dripping in more ducats than this. But it is what it is. Alright, what am I even thinking? I'm just rabbling on. Maybe I should actually go and uh, siege down forts, since that's what I'm going to need to do if I want to make any headway here. He says, as uh, the Gianagar come and reinforce quite heavily on them. Yikes, my own troops are going to get smoked here. Let's force them out. It's not enough for 10 to 1, but it's a stack wipe if ever I've seen one. Now we'll work on their capital as well, even though it's not uh, important. At least not from the... Uh 
strategic point of view. But what I want is for Vigianagar to stop doing spy actions on me, and for that I will probably need to stop them being my rival. Oh, you really think you could come and beat me in Costa? Because I don't think you could, not without the backing of your other stack. Uh, speaking of things that you could be doing to me... cheap and cheerful occupations. Oh well there's that backing of the other stack I was talking about. I don't know what a wooding is but I don't like the sound of it. It's not that unthinkable if we get the uh, capital here. But Vigianagar is holding strong. Wow he could very easily come and crush me with that stack. Surprised he hasn't already. I want Vigianagar down so I can reinforce Costa. ka -ching. I'm on that. Also on anything that gives me fairly reasonable amounts of uh, anything and all this. Goodbye. Yeah, goodbye nobility estate, really. Alright, a few uh, a few wars that work out pretty ghastly for him, or a few more fort occupations, and that should be it. At least I have him scared here. It's actually not so good because he's going to spread out and destroy my own, uh, my subject forces. So I should try to back them up a touch. Fortunately he goes for Doab, unfortunately he goes for his own capital and he's piling it on. But it shouldn't be too long until he starts giving it all up. Shouldn't be, he says. What am I after? Two provinces and, uh, and rivalry. Is that really too much for a man to ask? Actually, he's summoned a huge number of troops here. It's like 200,000. A lot more than when he started this all... Uh, started this with. Which is not so good for me. It'll be quite easy for him to take back his uh, capital there. Quite easy for him to take most things here. It's always a scary proposition fighting a strong Vigianagar. Yeah, I could probably make do with uh, just getting the break. Uh, break what sits, but that's not what we're here for. I could also click my fingers and bring in more units of my own, but that's not how I operate. Efficient wars. That's my motto from now on. I don't want to lose Vigianagar here, though, even though it's just dry lands. Oh, damn them, the uh, Ottomans are doing spy actions on me. Guess we'll be counter espionaging them. Alright, well, let's go and put the hurt on these guys. I would like to arrive on the same day, though, 21st, 22nd, so I'll give you guys another day. I wonder if we'll be able to save the fort. Wow, only just. There's a day in it. He's not marching his way south, but I'd be surprised if he... Oh well, amazingly, they're not jumping on that. These battles could win me the war, then. Could win me the war. Stones throw away from it. And if I can get more war score from battles, which I can, I should probably ride that train all the way to the bank. Well, we could just merge everyone together and get us our greatest. Oh, they've got no general there. I want the best fire imaginable. Ah, uh, uh, I can't not go with that, but fire is better at this stage in the game. That hurts. It 
it all hurts. The glory seeker is actually not really worth it right now. And there's no point in taking or trying to take care of Beijing when they're not on it right now. Oh, this was poorly thought out. He's going to march his other units down. And, uh, well, we don't have great fire right now. It's going to be painful. Phew. That cost me so many cannons. And wow, amazingly, it's still not enough to get this war done. There we go. There we go. Thanks for someone saying my generals are shockingly good. That pun is terrible. I could just take these and give them over to Nepal. He'll be happy enough for that. It's holy war, so we get everything nice and cheap. And he's going to stop having us as a rival. Ain't that sweet. Right, here's hoping that's the last time I have to go and crack some Vijayanagari skulls. And Nepal. There we go. Grant you some provinces. Luck now. And Bahreich. There we go. Good name placement for my subjects. Mine stands to, or could stand to be a lot better. But we'll get there. And you know what? Let's just drink up some attrition on the way home and sort out our units. Ottoman scum. I'm going to have to counter espionage you. And uh, unfortunately, they haven't picked me as a rival. They probably will get me as a rival once the truce is up. Just got to drink up Diviet, though. How's the manpower, Jake? The what? I'm not, I'm not sure what you're talking about. I could intervene and help the Ottomans in a war right now. Let me tell you how much I'm not going to do that. At all. Hmm. Seems I might have made some uh, poor choices when it comes to getting the merchant guilds on my side. And uh, it's not really going to be from controlled provinces either. Seven years? Well, eh, if it becomes a problem, it becomes a problem. Right, first off, mercs. Away you go. Second off, I think I lost some regulars along the way as well. So, hmm, that's all I can really say about that. I've got a load of you guys over there, so. Forty eight and thirty two. Now I can't even tell which was which, but it's probably these guys. And then there are you. Get over to something like that with those guys, and then I'll split them up. And then there are you folks who kind of need to go back to somewhere relatively useful. And then there are the mercs, which need to go and deal with those rebels that I have. There they are. Yeah, the rebels that are just spreading out are going to cause me some nasty times. Ah. <sighs> Zikiachu is saying, I'm sure it's been asked, but what's the goal of all this? There are two achievements that I was striving for. One of them I've already gotten, thankfully. But uh, another one is Fanatic Collectivist. So I need to get all the uh, institution origin provinces. And that means trucking off to Europe.
708 to integrate you. And between you and the other guy, uh, Khmer, it's going to be hard times integrating subjects. I would also really like to get a lot more uh, manpower, but somebody sabotaged my recruitment. So that's not going to be going so well. Maybe I shouldn't have deleted that mountainous fort. Seems, uh, in hindsight, maybe not the best thing I've ever done. Let's get you all over there. It's reasonable, uh, reasonable everything there. And more dip is best dip. We managed to place another bit of chin. Sadly, I don't think there are any more low development provinces for me to get my chin in. Separatism kind of blocks that for another while. At least all of China has been dealt with. No more Chinese wars, no more Italian wars. Hopefully no more Vigianagari rubbish. Although he's probably not happy about all those cores that I took away from him. And that he still has on me on top of that. Alright, let's just go and take care of these ones. Let's use our shocking abilities. Why is my fire so garbage though? That I'd like to know. Maybe I wouldn't like to know. Sweet. Yeah, with this we can take this back this land back with extreme ease and just monarch in charge of that. Why does my monarch have to be so good at sieging? Lovely. Nothing to worry about, just some uh, gin drinkers who want to rise up, but we've got their number. It's only in Xuanhua that they even want to rise up, and I don't even know where that is. So surely it can't hurt me. Xuanhua. That's this one, right? And it looks like I've got my, uh... Yeah, i got my missionary working on that. So if they do rise up, I'll be ready for them. Ah, disease. Good old disease. Why are you spreading your chin? You're not von Habsburg, Jake. Seriously, though. Alright, so in this game, when Ming broke apart, a lot of Chinese nations fell out of them. And I got very angry with a lot of them for everything that they did to me. They did a lot of horrible things to me. Dali constantly attacked me, even though they were the Bai people. Then we had Liang. Uh, who else did we have? We had the people of Ning, who betray me. We had Wu that had the audacity to grow when I wanted to consume them. We had a lot of issues with the Chinese and I decided the only mature approach was to wipe them all out. All of them. So that's what we'll do. Jake, it's good that you don't hold a grudge. Let's see what you're getting at. Alright, everything is A-OK. -okay. Hell, I could probably speed four my way to glory. The money situation is, well, better than lovely. It's amazing. I don't even need to pay my army right now. We just need to drown in the ducket. Which is exactly what we need, because this next institution is a costly one. We have one province that has it, and that's barely a fraction of our... Uh, I wonder if it was a province that I took that has it. That would be funny. No, it's our capital. Why would our capital? Okay, university. I would actually really like to boost the development of uh, Manipur into something obscene. It would be very expensive to do, though. 
Our capital deserves a manufactory, really. Okay. How tall should our capital get in terms of development, despite it being very expensive to do so? Might be worth holding on to off till Tech 27 to do that. <laughs> that five development capital. Hey now, it's in the trade node that matters. 200 development cap. Nah. Manipur should stay simple, Jake. Keep it traditional. Mm, that doesn't amuse me enough. Oh, it's so nice not to have loads of enemies right now. Fujianagar are almost certainly going to do it to me again, though. But... We can avoid having our reputation tarnished and have all the other horrible things done to us. And that is exactly why Khmer is getting inside of us right now. I'd like an advisor to help out with that. So let's fire these jokers. Excuse me for not getting excited about re recruits flocking to the standard. Statesman is good, level 1 is not. Engineer Corps is great. Still want my three deckers though. Put Beijing to shame, Jake. Well, Beijing is 33. Maybe Manipur should be 40. We'll start small, but it'll grow. Also, because I need a place to start dumping my dip points to. A more cultural convergence would be nice, but none of these provinces have low enough development for me to really want to focus on that right now. Maybe here? It's a wee bit away from any other chins, but we need to convert it to the one true faith before we can do that. Yeah, development is just so high around here. Now, Minipur is doing pretty great. They are getting those uh, those cores down, even with their abysmal prints. And oh, jeez, that hurt. That hurts a lot. Can I not put a relative on the throne there? I could also pay off their debt, but that's out of the question. Right, enlightenment is growing. Huh, Diviet actually embraced it. That's all the more reason to annex them for myself. And then quickly embrace it. Hmm. Kinda like that idea. Any interesting developments in the New World? Not that I can see. I don't know about that. I'd have to go and explore it for myself. Also, shouldn't we be worrying a bit more about these guys? Goes up by one per month. Uh, we have uh, 70 months left, so that's like five years. Uh, hopefully one of these will run out within five years. Perfectly planned! The Admiral ship will run out in time. Just grand. Still want those deckers, though. Alright, and it'll only take another 20 years or so for me to integrate my subject. It'll take fewer if I get myself that uh, statesman, but I am not interested in uh, getting such low-level statesmen on my side. No, Mawar, I know you're doing well for yourself, but no. Really like the fact that Nepal can field such a mighty army right now. Uh, don't want to fire level threes. I'm not made of money here. Oops. You know, I feel like I very suddenly started making tons of ducats. What's up with that? I think it was the trade efficiency for not having crippling overextension and such. If I had to guess. I also don't think this guy from Canton's doing much since he only brings in a few ducats. Uh, it's difficult. The thing about Chinese trade is it's very hard to control from the inside. 